Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Sagittarius weekly money and career reading from August 21st to the 27th, 2023. Sagittarius, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Sagittarius weekly money and career. August 21st, 227, 2023. Okay, Sagittarius, let's pop a little more light on. It is very hot where I am, so the heat with the light is not easy, but I know you can see better. Here we go. Four of Pentacles. The Hermit. Okay, thinking this out, thinking this new direction out. You've invested your money. No, if you've saved your money, you're sitting on your money. You're sitting on um, almost like a treasure trove, or you're you you know you're you you don't want to share. You don't want to share, and you maybe you made money. For example, maybe you made money all summer on something really hard, and or you had to take a job for more money, or or it was on a special project and you're finally getting the money in or you're finally getting the money you're owed, you were owed or something like that or finally got a promotion, something like that before moving on to something else. This is like the big push before you moved on to something else, before you find clarity on the situation and want to move into a new direction with this hermit, right? It's It feels like you're sitting on this because the whole summer, and it's just an example of energies, but the whole time you couldn't project. It was just time to make that money or, you know, figure things out and um, and not project how you were going to develop this project or project how you were going to prepare this move or project how you were going to move into a different direction, right? It was time or it is time to take a pause and do things slower. Um, introspect, yes. Be careful not to, uh, to sacrifice yourself. But be careful not to put yourself in a situation where you're the one that's doing all the work, that you're the one picking up the slack for everybody else. Because I feel like that's what you feel sometimes. Channel your emotions filter your emotions. Yes, you're there for others. You're listening to others that you are going to take another direction, or at least there's a new idea. There's clarity on a new idea or clarity on a new path, whether it's a new job or a new objective, whatever it is. Yes, you're working hard on that. I think you're working hard the whole time, right? Um, perfecting a skill, Okay, you have Queen of Cups and King of Cups, Sagittarius. There can be water signs involved. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces doesn't have to be, but I feel like little by little, as you focused on yourself, focused on regenerating, rethinking, um, understanding where you're coming from and what's so what's important for you. These are these are either two people surrounding you or 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 you really now finally calming down, settling down and able to um, manage your emotions, filter your emotions and find that, you know, find that emotional stability. I like that. And you're more, more open to others. You're more open to listening to others or to having conversations, connecting to others. Or there's someone around you that is more than happy to listen to you, to be by your side as you navigate this new direction. Yes, you're letting go a certain energy mindset, a certain mindset that was, that again, back to that energy I feel was something you really worked on and, and now you have to make that decision. You're at that crossroads. You're at that important time where you're going to make a decision and leave that mindset behind and really move into a new energy. But yes, it takes a profound, uh, a profound um, introspection to be able to get out of that mode and move forward and being able to project yourself in this new 
career path, life path, job, business, whatever it is for you. It will be different for every one of you. Um, comment down below. Let me know where you stand. Let me know what your journey is all about. That is all how I find my energies to move forward in these readings. So uh, just put a comment. And if you don't wish to comment, like I always say in all my readings, not everybody wants to comment or share their journeys just put a heart down below let me know if you connected with these readings all right look at that the chariot yes so once you once you've really dug deep and understood where you stand and and now where you want to go and how you want to move things and change things and how you do not resonate or you do not want to stay stagnated in that situation that was just that was just a moment in your life where you wanted to save money or, you know, you wanted to make sure you secured something to be able to open up your road and open up, open up your path to this new, new direction. Again, this new direction can be a new job, a new project, a business you're starting, a new idea. Whatever it is, it's clear in your mind. You have cleared everything you needed. You're moving forward in something calmer, something more balanced, and also something more exciting with the chariot. Then it's, you know, it's almost like you cleaned house. You understood that you had to do one big push and then clean house and get out of there. That's the way it feels. And then now it's movement forward. Now you can, ev you know, it's evolution, the evolution of your project, the development of your project. And it's, and it's very, it's becoming very clear, very coherent. Your project is, is becoming solid or the job is becoming real or, you know, the new path, the new career is becoming real. You are reaching your goal. You are successfully reaching your goal with this chariot. I like that. And then you have the queen of pentacles, which can be you, um, Sagittarius, but can also be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in your life or you're someone you're working with or someone that's by your side and the queen of pentacles is someone very logic um she's a fixer she's a helper when i say she of course not gender specific but she's really someone that is beautiful to have by your side right she will take you by the hand and guide you to where uh to where you want to go um, finding solutions, connecting you with others, uh, finding ideas, or being there with you to um, to find solutions, right? Staying up at night, discussing, whatever it is, you're, um, you're with this person, or it can be someone you're working with. It can be also, you know, um, a co-worker or a past co-worker or a friend or, you know, a family member. But she is someone very generous, very caring, and again, very comforting and practical and down to earth. So can be a motherly figure, doesn't have to be, so it can be family. But, but it's, it's most of all a figure, someone that helps you maneuver your way to achieve your goal, right? Um, she will, and again, not gender specific, show you love and, and just show you the way forward when you feel stranded when you feel confused. Um, it's, it's, this is a person that is always there to help you. Um, a wonderful person um, coming into your life with high standards and, and really high hopes for you um, in your endeavor or someone that will always cheer you on. Yes. Knight of Pentacles, working hard. Wow. Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. And the Knight of Cups. Interesting. These night, this two combinations sort of is popping up in these past few readings. Okay. And so it's, yes, working hard again on accomplishing, on making something happen, right? The Knight of Pentacles. Um, and then you have the Knight of Cups, which is moving forward 
um, on a project. The project is moving forward with the chariot, with the wheel of fortune, whatever it is that you came for, whatever it is that you want to move forward is happening. And with a lot of effort, six of pentacles, knight of pentacles, a lot of, a lot of effort and a lot of responsibility, right? Slow and steady, you're pushing this forward with patience, accomplishing your duties, accomplishing what you have to do. And again, I'm going back to that situation that you might have done the last few months to save money, to make money for a whole nother career shift or a, a business you want to start or, you know, something that you want to push forward and and it's something that you want to make happen and you're really reliable on this and committed to this work and i think you're you are committed to both and as you shift to your new career or that path you want to take or that new idea you want to develop whatever it is you're really reliable and efficient with what you're doing and there's a true true sense of duty that keeps coming up, right? Careful not to turn this into too much perfectionism, right? But continue to do and to do this and, and, and stick to it because you can accomplish anything, anything, Sagittarius. And you have the Wheel of Fortune, which again is that movement forward, connecting to the right people, synchronicities popping in, that good karma, that positivity, right? People by your side, but also understanding the ebbs and flows of life and the ebbs and flows of, um, of, of energies. And now you're in the positive, you're in the push. And I like that. And so that is you realizing your strength, realizing who you are, and how you can make a difference in this world, right? It's things are just going to get better and better from here. And the wheel asks you to keep up that optimism. And you have the, the Knight of Cups pushing forward on this, you know, really working creatively and methodically on this new path, on this new direction. And if you have faith in yourself and if you have faith in the universe, rest assured, you know, and if you're sending out those positive vibes or just happy to be working on this project, right? And and willing to expand your life, your horizons, your your knowledge. Um, this is pushing you in a really positive direction. So stay open, stay open to others, stay open to factors outside of your control, possibilities, opportunities. Um, push forward, push forward and, and, and just adapt, adapt to what's happening because things are happening now. And maybe suddenly, and maybe not what you thought, right? Maybe different, but that's the name of the game, different and getting out of, yes, getting out of the seven of swords, getting out of those people you didn't trust, but that's okay. That was just for money, right? That's okay. Uh, there was a moment you didn't trust. There was a moment you didn't want to be there. There was a moment you didn't connect. And here you are with that new offer, that new gig, that new direction. It's creative. If you're an artist, you're creating something, you're putting your art, your talent out there, um, it, it, whatever, you're creating something. Yes, you're getting out of that. We have the end of that. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, and now the Page of Cups and the King of Cups, and that's a duplicate of that. Repeat, just just repeating, uh, confirming that you are now settling in, settling in your emotions. You're okay where you are. You are um, able to see what's happening. Yes, it's a big turn for you. It's a big event for you. It's a big change with the tower. This is, it seems like a new career. It doesn't have to be, but it's a big shift. It's a big shift for you. And a big shift for you doesn't mean automatically a big shift for someone else. Everyone has a different perspective. Everybody has a different life. Everybody has a different energy. And everyone is in a different part of the world, right? So you are realizing now that this is for you and you're moving it forward. Good for you. And it's something you really worked hard on. And good, good for you. Good for you, uh, Sagittarius. Comment down below. Let me know where you stand on your journey and what this is all about.
or just leave a heart down below. All right. Cards want to pop out, but let's see if there's one more. Okay. <clears throat> I try to get the right ones. These I'm going to put aside for a moment and grab the sun. Beautiful. It's very hot where I am and trying to get these readings done no matter what. I am in transition, traveling soon, and I just want you to all have your readings before I travel. Yes, look at that. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to put this here. Wheel of Fortune, Sun. So whatever it is you're committed to, whatever it is you decided, you have two times the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. I mean, you're really moving into what you wanted. You're really moving into your energy, your loving energy, your pure energy. And that is opening up to the world with the Sun. And it's also you realizing, you know, that this is positive for you this is optimal for you and and even if it's not exactly what you think it was was it going to be or you thought it would be it's something really um that's giving you beautiful energy beautiful strength it's giving you the optimism the that strength that tells you that no matter what things are going to be okay things are going to be positive and this positive energy is just going to push you forward in the right direction so if you're seeing the bright side and and you know maybe you're bringing warmth to people and maybe you're bringing warmth to people's lives and this is warm energy this beautiful energy that is going to help you succeed so radiate who you are sagittarius show the world who you are because um your love of those you care about is shining shining right you're also discovering through challenges along the way who you really are and what your purpose is in this world so you know if you're full of energy and positive energy and you're excited about this and this is going to help you persevere to success right and and your confidence boosted because everything is going to work out and 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 also not to be fear driven right not to be fear driven not to be ego driven really to do this for the love of others or to do this for the purpose or for the cause or for creativity or for your idea right but not for the ego not for the money and of course if the money is there it's beautiful right and of course if you make money it's beautiful but the the roots of this is you the root of this is your energy your kindness your um empathy you have two times the king of cups you're there for others you are transmitting your energy your emotions this is something that is really beautiful and it's pushing you forward there's no ego power here you have what people want sagittarius okay so here we have the two um the lovers i'm just gonna show you these cards maybe not pull them all out because this is what we had new idea page of swords making it official the hierophant two of swords a repeat uh king of pentacles turning something into reality, making it successful, but also creating, right? Building, creating. It's a good endeavor. It's a good idea, whatever it is. And you're very clear on your objectives. You're very honest with yourself, with the lovers. And we have the four of wands celebrating, celebrating this beautiful accomplishment or celebrating with family or celebrating being in the right spot, feeling energized, feeling in the right spot, feeling in the right job, whatever it is, it's it's celebration. Celebration. Good for you, Sagittarius. Celebrating your life, celebrating your accomplish your accomplishments. Let's see if there's one last message for the road, Sagittarius. Weekly money and career August 21st to the 27th. 2023 three Sagittarius wow 
Okay, I think, I think um, I just did Capricorn or not too long ago and they had three times the 10 of cups, which is absolutely amazing. You have three times the wheel of fortune three times the wheel of fortune which just and the knight of swords very clear imposing fast forward you are pushing forward you're not taking no for an answer this is who you are this is what you're going to be and this is what you're going to do no matter what three times the wheel of fortune if that is not luck turning is that if that is not that good karma coming in that good energy coming in and you realize you're you're moving into something really cool. You're moving into something so much better. Push forward, go with the flow because those synchronicities, you're, you're connecting the dots. For sure, you're connecting the dots and pushing into beautiful energy. Absolutely amazing reading, Sagittarius. Three times the Wheel of Fortune. That's all I have to say. That signifies movement, finally, after stagnation, and movement in the right direction where it is fluid synchronicities here we come i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did sagittarius thank you to each and every one for watching for sharing your energies for sharing your energies sorry your energies and your journeys sagittarius that's pre probably because i'm very hot um thank you so much for watching have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.